Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I wanted to go a little bit deeper into the month of March, so we're going to be using the shells. Uh, then quickly we're going to be doing the tarot, and finally the message from Spirit, the direct message for you guys. So uh, let's get into your reading, Aquarius. How are you doing, my lovelies? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope you guys are really stepping into your power. All right, spirits, what are the messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Aquarius, I feel that you guys have been having a lot of issues in regards to stability. Um, and that's something that came through very strongly right now. I, stability doesn't necessarily mean just finances. This could be stability as a whole, meaning... You're feeling a bit thrown off. You're feeling a bit confused. For some of you guys, feeling like you're being pulled towards different directions. Things just keep popping up out of nowhere. Uh, as an example, you are heading to work and a relative or a family or someone is expecting or wanting or needing something from you. Uh, it's almost like you can't really... Um, it's like one thing after another is what they keep telling me. And... Yes, it may be very overwhelming. It may be like, like I said, feeling like you're being pulled towards different directions. However, uh, what Spirit is telling you here is that this is helping you uh, realize or come to the understanding of those that rely too heavily on you or people that are constantly uh, wanting your attention or needing something from you. Um, so what they're telling you is in retrospect, or I guess on the grander scale of things, what they're trying to show you here is for you to really take inventory of those that are around you, uh, that are positive in your life. Those that, you know, you can't sit there for 30 minutes and have a conversation about what they're going through because you got to clock in in 15 minutes. Do they understand that or do they get upset? Do they make a big fuss about it? Do they feel like, oh, it's just me. Like, you're treating me this way, da, 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 da. And in reality, you're like, no, I have responsibilities that I need to do. Um, for others of you, they are telling me that there is a door, some type of portal that is opening up for you where you thought that door was closed. This could be in connection to relationships. Uh, this could be a person that... Perhaps you thought you had moved on from. However, I do see like someone coming back around. It's almost like circumstances are bringing you or drawing you guys closer together. Um, and this could be an ex. This could be a person that you are no longer dealing with. And then you hear about something that's going on in their life um, that kind of you kind of feel either you feel bad or you feel some type of responsibility. Um, and then. For some of you guys, it could be that you continuously keep hearing about this person and it just represents that they are definitely around your energy. So I do see um, an opportunity to rekindle something where you thought you had lost hope. Um, also, I do want to mention for some of you guys, uh, you may be almost like like you're being tested right now. And, and I feel that it is like it's goal time for you guys in regards to focusing on what it is that you're wanting to make happen in your life, whether it's to grow in your career, whether it's to expand your business, whatever this is, what they're telling you is all of this that's going on in your life right now, all the distractions is what they're telling me. Um, it is to test you to see how bad do you want to manifest or how bad do you want to succeed in life. And it is about going that path and going on that straight path without allowing other distractions to deter you or to make you turn left when you're supposed to turn right. Do you see what I'm saying? So again, pay attention to that because you may experience that in the month of March, um, like feeling like you can't really focus because everyone's trying to get your attention or pulling you towards something, but you're trying to make something happen. And what they're telling you is don't lose faith, stay focused, stay determined, and you will see the ultimate uh, compensation for that. I see two major... Uh, two major opportunities coming your way, and one is definitely connected to finances. So again, keep an eye out for that. All right, my lovelies. Especially those of you guys that have been in a company or been working in a company for a very long time, and you just feel like you, 
outgrown that position. Uh, there may be some type of opportunity that comes up in the month of March where it's going to push you. It's going to propel you to the next level in that path or in that business or career. All right, let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of March 2021. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For those of you guys that are trying to get private consultations, thank you guys very much for being patient. We are still trying to catch up to our emails. We are only two months behind, and I say only because we were behind about six months. So now we're catching on. Um, you can find me on Instagram, on Snapchat, on TikTok. I am very active on TikTok and on Instagram. Uh, you can find uh, witchy tips on my Instagram. You can uh, see what we're doing, the spells that we're working on. Uh, you can see daily readings that I post on there from the TikTok. So uh, you guys can follow me on there. All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. So right at the bottom... We have the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups could represent Pisces energy. It can also represent a Cancer or Scorpio type of energy. However, I feel that as a general energy, what they're telling you here is pay attention to your intuition, Aquarius. I feel that you guys are being very, for some of you guys, it could even be like experiencing very lucid dreams. I'm not sure if you know what lucid dreams are, but it's dreams where you feel or you understand within the dream that you're dreaming, but it feels so real. Pay attention to that because I feel like spirit is trying to open up um, the communication or the connection with higher spirit. And I feel that they're trying to guide you. It could be because you feel a bit overwhelmed uh, and they're just trying to open you up in regards to the opportunities or the steps that you should be taking. So pay attention to that, okay? Your first card here is the Queen of Pentacles. So you have two queens in this reading. For some of you guys, there may be uh, opportunities in regards to love coming your way. Uh, for others of you, it could represent um, that you're definitely in the mouth and in the mind of people. Uh, this could be rumors, <laughs> could be positive or negative. However, Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Cups, always positive type of energy. I see them more grounded. I see them more in tune with their emotions with the Queen of Cups here. So I feel that if they are talking about you, Aquarius, they're definitely talking about you in a positive way. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with an Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo type of energy. And the Queen of Pentacles does represent being um, being money motivated, being like creating something or being focused primarily on your finances right now, Aquarius. Uh, as you can see, this queen is here and she is holding the pentacle as in understanding the worth and value behind it, uh, holding it with pride, holding it in contemplation. So again, I feel that for some of you guys, uh, you may be very business. Yeah, definitely business and money motivated right now. And that is definitely not a bad thing. You have the nine of pentacles. So again, major opportunities for business. For some of you guys, it could be opportunities that come your way where we're talking about partnerships. We're talking about partnerships that are going to either expand, help you grow, help your business grow, or put your name out there uh, that is going to bring to you more customers, more clientele, that is going to bring to you more possibilities. Nine of Pentacles also indicates uh, being bountiful and experiencing a uh, a, a, a surge and energy of abundance. So for some of you guys, those of you guys that have been struggling, the positive behind this is that there is definitely money coming your way. Now, this money can come through extra work or working harder. So it could represent, yes, you are being bountiful or your finances are going to be getting much better and much stronger. However, there's no time for slacking off, okay? We have the five of wands here. I feel... I'm going to be honest with you, Aquarians. I feel that for a lot of you guys, you're going to be experiencing a lot of opportunities when it comes to love and romance, okay? They're showing me here the Nine of Pentacles. This is your singlehood card. So for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, um, what they're saying is you've become so self-sufficient that it's like, I don't need it anymore. I don't need them. I don't need to complicate my life. Whether you're ready or not, sweetheart, you got... 
You got people trying to fight for your attention. You got people trying to get your attention. It could be an earth energy. It doesn't have to be a female. This is a general reading. Um, so it could represent a male earth energy as well. With the five of pentacles, I feel that there's a lot of people around you that you may be standing out from the crowd or people are hearing about you. It could be that women, not necessarily women, it could be men as well, are speaking about you or putting your name out there and it's got them like, hmm, well, this Aquarius has, um, has options and uh, I want to know more. I want to know why. Uh, so I definitely see like the curiosity uh, flame being sparked and I feel that uh, you're going to be experiencing like I said for the month of March and April I see a lot of opportunities for finances growth as well as for love now your next card here is the devil card so yeah you guys may be definitely dealing with a Capricorn type of energy what they're showing me here is for for those of you guys that are money oriented money you know, motivated at the moment, stay focused. Do not allow other people to distract you from what you're doing. Try the best you can not to over party, not to over drink, not to overdo. It is about balance, Aquarius. Balance and focus is what they're telling you. The devil card could represent um, a toxic behavior, some type of toxic trait. Again, could be addiction, could be overdoing something basically because anything that is overdoing is considered an addiction. So with the devil card, this is a very powerful card because this speaks highly of your Saturn energy. So what they're saying here is um, the devil is that of the material. So if you're money motivated and you are focused, you will be able to attain the comfortabilities that come with financial bliss or financial stability. But what they're telling you is try the best you can not to be distracted. Try the best you can not to bite into drama. Don't allow people to throw your energy off. Right now, it's about focusing on what you want to make happen uh, for you, Aquarius. All right, so let's see what Spirit's message, what their direct message is, is for you, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, what is the direct message for Aquarians? What can they expect for this month of March 2021? What new opportunities, challenges, or obstacles do they need to overcome for this month? All right. We have a beautiful card. 35. You know what this means, uh, Aquarius? It means success in the in the earthly plane. This is talking about, you know, metaphorically the anchor. And the anchor is holding still. It is stability. This is work. This is your profession. I feel that your profession, your career, your finances are going to, like you're going to level up is what they're saying. Um, this talks about manifestation and the power that you have manifested or coming to the understanding that you have created what is unfolding for you. Um, now, I do want to say what they're telling you here with this 35 is, again, stay focused on what you're doing. You're on the path that you're supposed to be on. You're going to start to see things unfold and fall into place the way they're supposed to. It can also represent, and what I'm hearing is, do not fear success. So this could be for those of you guys that have been in a as an example, in a profession or in the position that you've been with for so many years and change scares you or maybe you're like, I'm not sure if I would want, you know, a, a, a higher position because it means more responsibility. What they're telling you is embrace this, embrace this opportunity, take it and own it because you were meant for greatness. You're meant for greatness. We're all meant for greatness. It is up to us how we limit ourselves and what they're telling you with this is do not limit yourself because success is inevitable for you. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.